Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice Available in white and brown varieties Mas mapapasarap ang kain pag masarap ang kanin Mi Ponica, just Ponica Help keep yourself fit without giving up rice Try tasty, fiber-rich brown rice Just Ponica Brown, Mi Ponica Brown From SL Agritech Corporation San Miguel Corporation, Malaya Business Insight, The Manila Times, Daijo Gem, Fine Jewelry at Unit 125S Mason, Marina Way Mall of Asia Complex, Origani, We Believe in a Beautiful and Natural Skin. Visit us at Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant. 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. Philippine Veterans Bank, a bank with a heart. Black Pearl Wellness Institute by Marisa Del Mar, 3rd Floor, Glorieta 5, Makati City. Southville International School of Foreign Universities, make the choice today for your tomorrow. Prestige when luxury and quality meet. Black Pearl is the perfect combination between scientific professional skin care and high end skin care for personal use. Utilizing a cutting edge technology to combine authentic Black Pearl powder into its product line. Black Pearl has established itself as a market leader in the luxurious and prestige category of the beauty industry. Black Pearl caters to those who want to look and feel at their best to shine and glow as a pearl. Cleopatra Mask This unique facial mask combines 24 karat gold with black mud from the Dead Sea, enriched with vitamins, plant oils and extracts to deeply nourish the skin and enhance its natural luminosity. Visit us at the upper level, City of Dreams, Manila, and on the second floor of Glorieta 2, Ayala Center, Makati, Greenbelt 5, and Glorieta 5. Buhay OFW, pangarap mo'y matutupan, sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikap. Salamat petang untuk anda semua yang baik. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ang inyong kapatid, Marisa Dalmar. At ito ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Andito po tayo ngayon sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. Amin pong iahatid sa inyo ang iba't ibang activities na pwede nating gawin sa Kota Kinabalu. Buhay OFW! Pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap Ang araw ay sisikat Buhay OFW Bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat ang purihin ng bawat katulad ko Balik po 
Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW. Ayon po sa U.S. State Department Human Rights Report, 400,000 ang mga babaeng naging biktima ng trafficking in persons sa Pilipinas sa loob lamang po ng isang taon. Samantalang lagpas na mampung sampung milyong Pilipinong lalaki, babae at bata ang naging biktima ng sex trafficking at forced labor sa buong mundo. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon po sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong illegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Buhay OFW ay hatid sa inyo ng SP Land Incorporated. Set your sights on your new home, situated in the heart of Naik Cavite. Sterling Residence One offers you, the Filipino family, your dream home. Affordability, high quality homes, security and comfort. Live the life of your dreams. Sterling Residence One is owned and developed. By SP Land Incorporated, a sterling paper group of companies. Royal Indian Curry House, rich restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. The global education leader, Southville International School and Colleges. Be amazing, be Southville. tinatawag na Ranao Highlands. Matatanaw natin dito ang sagana ng tanawin. Green all over, ang bounty of nature. Ang Ranao ay 108 kilometers east mula sa Kota Kinabalu. Dito matatagpuan ang Duzon Ethnic Community. Mabundok ang lugar na ito at ang Ranao ay ang largest producer ng highland vegetables sa Estadong Saba. Masasabing rich in tropical flora ang Ranao at marami mga iba't ibang klase ng mga bulaklak ang matatagpuan dito. Ang katamtamang temperature sa Ranao Highlands at ang rich fertile soil dito ay nakakatulong ng malaki sa mga farmers sa kanilang pananim ng mga gulay tulad ng cabbages, tomatoes, lettuce, carrots at marami pang iba. 
Sa lugar ng kundasang ay binisita natin ang Desa Cattle Farm. Ito ay isang dairy farm at sikat dito ang kanilang dairy ice cream. Welcome to Desa Cattle Farm! Yay! Buhay o Ang Desa Cattle Dairy Farm ay isa sa magagandang tanawin dito sa Kota Kinabalu na matatagpuan sa paanan ng Mount Kinabalu. Ito ay overlooking ng makapigil hiningang mga tanawin at ang weather dito ay malamig. Ang Desa Cattle Farm ay ideal sa mga educational tour, family or group tour at prenup pictorial. Bago kayo umalis dito, kailangan matikman muna ninyo ang napakasarap nilang ice cream at fresh milk. Ibang bayan, ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal. Isusugal lang ang buhay ko, kailangan ng ang mga minilit. Pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Dito pa rin sa Ranao Highlands ay bibisita tayo sa Pouring Hot Springs Dito ay magandang magdistress at ibabad ang ating mga katawan Para naman ma-relax ang ating mga muscles Sinasabing may mga natural healing properties ang sulfuric baths dito na punong-puno ng minerals Dito rin sa Poring ay may canopy walk, butterfly farm at orchid conservation center. Kung in season ay makikita natin ang raffle siya, ang world's biggest flower in bloom. Buhay OFW, pangarap mo'y matutupan sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat. Buhay Alipin sa ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal lang ang buhay ko Kailangan Nang ang mga minimiti Ay makamtan Buhay o Pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikap Welcome to Pouring Hot Springs! Buhay o FW Pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikap Buhay o FW Ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal lang ang buhay ko Kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat ang purigin ng bawat katulad ko Salamat na ang Pouring Hot Spring Sama-sama! Dito sa Ranao, matatagpuan ang Kinabalu Park sa Kundasang. Ang nature park na ito ay sinasabing kauna-unahang World Heritage Site ng Malaysia. 
na idiniklara ng UNESCO noong December 2000. Ang Kinabalu Park din po ay kilala sa UNESCO bilang Center of Plant Diversity ng Southeast Asia. Umaabot po ito ng 75,400 hectares at nakukabilang po ito sa Malaysia's highest peak na Mount Kinabalu. Tingnan nyo naman po ang ating Mount Kinabalu. At syempre, we would like to thank ang ating uh, resort manager na si Rishwan Arsmara, ang ating assistant manager na si Freddy, sa napakaganda pong Kinabalu Lodge na tinuluyan po namin. Ayan, kaya mga kapatid, mga OFW sa buong mundo, sa inyo pong lahat ng mga turista at bisita na gusto mag-enjoy, pumunta lamang po sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. So, see you there! Isa sa mga landmarks dito sa Kota Kinabalu ay ang Mount Kinabalu. Ito ay dinarayo ng mga mountaineers mula sa iba't ibang bansa. Nasaksihan natin ang preparasyon ng mga mountaineers bago sila tumungo sa starting point paakyat ng Mount Kinabalu. Bago ka makaakyat ng Mount Kinabalu, ang mga mountaineers ay dadaan sa mga proseso. Kinakailangan muna nilang alamin ang mga rules and regulations ng pamunuan ng Mount Kinabalu. Pagdating sa Kinabalu Park, kinakailangan muna nilang sumailalim sa medical check-up upang malaman ang kanilang health condition. Lahat ng mga mountaineers ay kailangan mag-register para mabigyan ng identification card. Buhay o Ibang bahayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Buhay OFW! Welcome to Mount Kinabalu! Buhay OFW! Narito po ang mga sinyales ng trafficking in persons ayon sa United Nations on Drug and Crimes. Ang aktong kriminal na pagre-recruit, pagdadala at pagkuha ng mga tao mula sa iba't ibang lugar. Paggamit ng dahas, panlilinlang, coercion, pagkidnap o pagtangay at pagbabayad sa guardians ng biktima. Ang paglalayo na gamitin ang mga biktima para sa prostitution at ibang uri ng sexual exploitation. Forced labor or services, removal of organs, pang-aalipin at mga katulad na aktibidad. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon po sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong illegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Thank you so much to the 30th PMPC Star Awards for Television, Buhay OFW Award for Best Public Service Program for Action TV. Mabuhay po ang PMPC. Congratulations to our Head News and Public Affairs Chief, Ms. Luci Cruz Valdez, from your Buhay OFW family. Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, available in white and brown varieties. Mas mapapasarap ang kain pag masarap ang kanin. Mi Ponica, just Ponica. Help keep yourself fit without giving up rice. Try tasty, fiber-rich brown rice. Just Ponica Brown, Mi Ponica Brown, from SL Agritech Corporation. The Global Education Leader, Southville International School and Colleges. Be amazing, be Southville. Black 
pearl prestige when luxury and quality meet. Black Pearl is the perfect combination between scientific professional skin care and high-end skin care for personal use. Utilizing a cutting-edge technology to combine authentic Black Pearl powder into its product line. Black Pearl has established itself as a market leader in the luxurious and prestige category of the beauty industry. Black Pearl caters to those who want to look and feel at their best to shine and glow as a pearl. Cleopatra Mask This unique facial mask combines 24 karat gold with black mud from the Dead Sea, enriched with vitamins, plant oils and extracts to deeply nourish the skin and enhance its natural luminosity. Visit us at the upper level, City of Dreams, Manila and on the second floor of Glorieta 2, Ayala Center, Makati, Greenbelt 5, and Glorieta 5. Buhay Magandang gabi po sa buong Pilipinas at welcome po sa Buhay OFW. Binabati po namin ang mga kapatid natin sa Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Malaysia, Singapore, United Kingdom, Italy, USA, Canada. Sa inyo pong lahat, welcome po sa Buhay OFW. I'm so much honored to be here tonight sa ating pong Kota Kinabalu, Saba, Malaysia. And with us to know him more, up close and personal and everything about Sabah, Malaysia and Pacific City, let's get to know him more. Pacific City Managing Director, Jonathan Wheeler. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening. Thank you and welcome. May I know what is your nationality? I'm British and I'm married to a Malaysian. How is it living in a country like Sabah? It is the second largest state of Malaysia uh, and it, it's uh, part of Borneo, the eastern Malaysian states. It's a beautiful, beautiful state. It's a very different part of the country compared to West Malaysia. I've also had the privilege of living in, in Kuala Lumpur. Yes. Now, living in Kota Kinabalu, the capital of Sabah, is a very relaxed uh, pace of life. It's a very fresh pace of life. The environment here is, is stunning. The air is clear. The sunsets are beautiful. And the food is so it's good. Delicious. It's very good. You know, that's very true because the past days, the, the Buhay OFW team has been here. It's fantastic view, good food, good camaraderie, warm people, friendly people. That's one of the best. Absolutely. Can you tell us, because you have been staying here for how many years already? I've been in Malaysia for 12 years now. 12 years and in Sabah? In Sabah for four. May I ask, what is it about being here in Sabah for my home, my second home, or being in a retirement home like Sabah? So Sabah is increasing in popularity as a second home destination, uh, both for retirees and for uh, working professionals. Uh, I think the unknown uh, gem about Sabah is its location within Southeast Asia. Uh, we have direct flights to the Philippines, yes to China, to Japan, to Korea, to Australia, as well as to Singapore, Indonesia, uh, and many other countries around this region. And that connects us. Within two hours, we can be in Hong Very Kong. Fast. You can be in Manila. So the connectivity here is almost second to none. But that, that's just the access. You've actually got to be here to enjoy the life here. Um, we've mentioned the sunsets, the environment, the biodiversity, but it's also rich in culture. Yes. The Sabahan culture is not too dissimilar to the Filipino yes, culture. There's a lot of uh, strong links and heritage here. It's a very warm uh, welcome that you receive here. Uh, everybody has smiles, they open their arms, their houses. Yes, we've been invited to practically everybody's home that we've met. Wonderful. Parties, social events, and they're proud. People want to tell you about the history, mm -hmm. the culture, mm -hmm. the food, wow. and uh, 
it just makes a very pleasant and enjoyable place to be. That's very true, Jonathan, because I am a witness. Our Buhay OFW team were a witness for all these beautiful things that are really happening in Saba. And can you imagine, even if you wake up early in the morning, you can see the sunrise and then the sunset. We did an amazing love cruise tour yesterday, and it's just wonderful. It is. And if I may add, um, one of the unique things about Sabar is you have a variety of climates in this little place. 30 minutes out of Kota Kinabalu, you can be up in the highlands yes. at six or seven hundred meters where the temperature is just about 22 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's fresh mm -hmm. and, uh, and cool. Mm -hmm. If you want to go a little bit higher, you can go to the foot uh, hills of Mount Kinabalu itself, Mount Kinabalu itself. which is yes. the highest. We were there. It's a very cool it's environment up there. Very very beautiful uh, and that's almost 4,000 meters that's as high as some of the mountains in Europe in the Alps so it's uh, you get the complete mix of uh, beach life mountain life jungle rivers Jonathan may I ask you so far what is the target for these retirees coming here to Malaysia what countries most frequent Sabah absolutely so the Malaysia my second home uh, program uh, it was started in the early 2000s. I think it's now in its 15th year. 15th year, yes. And uh, to date, there's been about 33,000 um, participants from around the world. And uh, just to elaborate on what the program is a little uh -huh, bit. Yes. So the, the government of Malaysia set up this uh, special international residency visa mm -hmm. for uh, anybody above the age of 21 actually you don't have to be retired okay um, to come and reside in Malaysia there's there's a certain amount of uh, the minimum requirements that you are required to, to do for people under 50 years of age uh, you're required to uh, put in a deposit uh, in a bank in Malaysia uh, 300,000 300,000 ringgit. 300,000 ringgit. Okay, for one person. For one person. Even if you're 21, whatever age, but 50 and below. 50 and below. 50 okay. and above. Okay, 50 and above. You are only required to put 150,000 oh, ringgit. Oh, much lower. Much 150,000 ringgit. And this is just in a fixed deposit right. with an international or local bank in Malaysia. Okay. So it's still your money. Is it earning interest? It is earning interest right. and that interest will be tax exempted. Can you be able to use that amount of money if you want to purchase any property? After one year, After one year. you're allowed to withdraw up to half of the amount deposited to use to purchase property or to use for general medical expenses for example and so okay. on. So there, there are other requirements regardless of the age as well. Um, like what requirements? You would need to demonstrate that you have liquid assets mm -hmm. of a minimum of 350,000 ringgit. Okay, that is aside from what you deposited. That can become I part can of be what part. you deposit, right. but it, it is outside of Malaysia initially at the application. Okay. And you would need to demonstrate that you have uh, an income, uh, either from a pension or from offshore business, of a minimum of 10,000 ringgit per month. Okay. Um, the other requirements relate to medical. Medical. So there is a, there is a simple medical report that one is required to, to do to uh, receive the visa. And then the only other requirement is that you have a medical insurance. Medical insurance in Malaysia. To cover you when you are in Malaysia. Yeah. Wonderful. And it's a yearly thing. It's a, it's a yearly yeah. thing, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the, these are the requirements. Um, they're actually relatively uh, simple requirements to satisfy. And as you can see, with, with nearly 3,000 applicants per year, it's been very successful. And how long will it can be released? Um, well, the, the, the process is normally done either directly through a Malaysia My Second Home uh, mission. There's a couple of these overseas, or through agents. There are agents uh, throughout Malaysia that will handle this. A typical cost mm -hmm. is up to maybe 10,000 ringgit. That's wonderful. So because it's much better for the country, especially like Sabah, you know, developing Sabah so much, it's good that uh, Pacific City is here. 
Yes, I mean, for, for, for us and for what we are doing within Saba, uh, we, we are uh, positioned as a community developer. Mm -hmm. uh, we develop uh, residential high-end uh, apartments, apartments yeah. shopping malls, shopping hotels. Mall. Have you started here already in Saba? What mall? Uh, we have. It is under development in Saba at the moment, branded as Pacific City. Okay. Um, uh, but uh, our apartments uh, have actually been quite successful with uh, Malaysia, my second home. That's happens. nice. That's nice. You have a link with my home, my second home. That's wonderful. We have foreign investors okay. that have bought apartments oh. because they have chosen Saba. Saba under the Malaysia My Second Home program. That's wonderful. Well, property developers like ourselves, we, uh, we, we are working with the registered agents yeah. to actually facilitate uh, investors in property, mm -hmm. foreign investors in property, right. to apply for the Malaysia My Second mm -hmm. Home program. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite common for, for property developers in Malaysia to do this, um, and uh, it's been very successful. Mm -hmm. So we have um, what I, I wouldn't class as retirees, but international residents international who have come from around the region mm -hmm. to buy and intend to live in these properties. If I'm a senior citizen, why do I have to be here? Or maybe I have to be in one of the Pacific City apartments? Well, there's various benefits mm -hmm. under the Malaysia My Second okay. Home program. So just, just to clarify a couple yes. of them, um, any uh, Offshore income is not taxable within Malaysia. Okay. I have to repeat that, Jonathan. Any offshore income outside Malaysia is non-taxable. Non so if you do business outside, you can do your business there and nobody will tax you from Malaysia. Absolutely. Correct. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, you're allowed to import your uh, personal effects without any duties or taxes. Mm -hmm. Um, you're also entitled to buy a car, a brand new car in Malaysia, okay. without the local duties and taxes. Uh, you're also entitled to bring your children under 21 years old, mm -hmm. under the visa as well, and they can attend education here. Uh -huh. um, there's, there's a few other benefits as well on top of that. There are a lot of retirees already availing of this program because of my home, my second home program. Wonderful. What is now the retirees population here, if you know? Okay. So foreign retirees um, within Sabah uh, is approximately around 3,000. 3,000? 3,000. Foreign retirees. Foreign retirees. From, from just my estimate. It could be a little bit higher than that. Mm -hmm. But under the Malaysia My Second Home program. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of others are... are, are S situated around Malaysia, especially in Kuala Lumpur, West Malaysia. But Sabah is growing very fast now. Okay, that's good. Now, can you please invite our friends to please visit and retire in Sabah, Malaysia? Well, absolutely. Sabah, Sabah's position within the ASEAN region, within Southeast Asia, is unique. Mm -hmm. uh, we are blessed with beautiful environment, with strong economy, and we have a very growing and advancing pace of life here now. I, I should add as well, in, in the last few years, the medical care mm -hmm. in Sabah alone has progressed uh, very far. Uh, it is up to, uh, and in some cases, surpassing uh, international Western standards of medical care. So Sabah as a whole, it, it can offer to a retiree or to someone looking for a second home destination, uh, a very pleasant, a very welcoming place to live at a reasonable price as well. Thank you so much, Mr. Jonathan Wheeler, our Managing Director of Pacific City. Katatapos lamang po ang pakikipagkwentuhan natin kay Mr. Jonathan Wheeler, the Managing Director of Pacific City. Come join and retire dito po sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia and experience the blue skies. Thank you so much. Magbabalik po ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Ang mga taong lumabag sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 ay maaari pong masintensyahan ng anim hanggang habang buhay na pagkakakulong at magbabayad po ng multa na 500,000 
hanggang 5 milyon. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon po sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong ilegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Katulad ko, Pilipino. Ang buhay OFW ay hatid sa inyo ng SP Land Incorporated. Set your sights on your new home, situated in the heart of Naik Cavite. Sterling Residence One offers you the Filipino family, your dream home. Affordability, high quality homes, security and comfort. Live the life of your dreams. Sterling Residence One is owned and developed by SP Land Incorporated a sterling paper group of companies. San Miguel Corporation, The Manila Times, Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. Origani, we believe in a beautiful and natural skin. Visit us at Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Southville International School of Foreign Universities. Make the choice today for your tomorrow. Nandito pa rin po tayo sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. At ngayon naman po, we are here sa Sutra Sanctuary Lodges. At kasama po natin ang ating resort manager from our Kinabalu Park, none other than Rishwan Asmara. Good evening, Rishwan. Hi, good evening to you, Marissa. Yes, good evening. You know, it's wonderful to be here in Kinabalu Park because I can see the cool weather. You see, naman, I'm wearing my sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's cool, yeah. Yeah. May I ask you, Rechuan? Yeah, sure. How many years have you been here as a resort manager? Well, I have been working with this company for more than uh, 12 years. If 12 I'm not mistaken, years. Yes. And how is uh, our tourists and our visitors coming? What countries are really coming here to visit the Kinabalu Park? Yeah, um, uh, we have a lot of visitors coming uh, coming up here, especially mountain climbing. Mountain climbing. <coughs> yeah. And then we have all over the world. All over the world, like yeah, what? All over uh, the world. What uh, nationality? Mostly uh, from uh, Denmark, 
Denmark, German, Germany, uh, from yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. How many rooms or lodges do we have? <coughs> restaurant. Um, we have about uh, 39 chalets mm -hmm. in this park. Can accommodate for about 145 people at one time. And 45 people yes. at one time. Yes. Okay. So, what are the uh, categories, lodges, chalets? How do you differentiate it? The biggest one we have uh, Raja Lodge. That's our uh, the most the expensive one. lodges we have. Yes. It has three rooms. Mm -hmm. The second yes. one is Kinabal Lodge that you're staying tonight. Okay. And then we have another uh, two more lodges, which is very me as well, which is uh, Kinabal Lodge. Uh, sorry, uh, Garden Lodge and Summit Lodge. Wonderful. Yeah, this okay. this four lodges are very special lodges. What is the peak month that you are having a lot of visitors and tourists coming? January until uh, April or May, okay. it's going to be a peak season. Okay. Then from June until about uh, July, it's a bit low. Okay. Then uh, from uh, August until uh, December. December, yes. Wow, that's it's going to be a peak season again. Yes. That's yes. the biggest. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. So I can see, Richwan, that you prepared a very wonderful dinner for us. Now, I will say that our tourists are really coming over because of good food, because of good accommodation and friendly stuff. How do we differ from the other lodges all over the uh, tourist spots all over the world? Of course, the difference here is uh, we, are, we have a big mountain in front of us, Correct. which other people don't have it. See? Wonderful, it's nature. Yeah, that's our Natural. one of our uh, landmark for uh, Sabah mm -hmm. itself, and even even uh, is I think it's known as in all, all over the world. Yeah. Mount Kinabalu, uh, everybody uh, all over the world knows about Mount Kinabalu. Yeah. And then um, we are different from the others. Mm -hmm. We are World Heritage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, World Heritage site, and mm -hmm. we have uh, beautiful uh, nature around and uh, flora and fauna as well. Wow. Uh, Cool weather. Mm -hmm. cool weather nice yeah, that's weather. that's that's why the people uh, would like to uh, re visit here. Yes. Uh, Please invite them to come to Kinabalu Park. Yes. Uh, our price is very reasonable. Yeah, I think it's uh, everybody can afford it. Yes. Yeah, because we have a uh, different different kind of uh, category of chalet. Mm -hmm. We have a very expensive one, which is a luxury chalet, mm -hmm. and we have a uh, middle uh, luxury. We have a. Uh, it's for the everybody. normal, excellent, the normal, the normal one, yes. It's for everybody. For everybody, everybody can afford affordable, it. Everybody yes. can enjoy and be comfortable having a vacation here at Kinabalu Park, right? Yes, yes okay. that's right. So let us come and visit Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. Saba, the best of Borneo. Thank you so much, Rishwan Mara, for being with us. And thank you very much for welcoming Buhay OFW team here in Kinabalu Park. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, mga kapatid. Katatapos lamang po natin kumustahin at makipagkwentuhan sa ating resort manager, Reshwan Asmara of Kinabalu Park. Come and visit Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. And don't forget to come and enjoy Kinabalu Park Lodges. Magbabalik po ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW Pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap Ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat kong purihin ng bawat Katulad ko Handa kang magpaalipin sa Ibang bahayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal ang buhay ko Kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay OFW, bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat nang purihin ng bawat katulad ko
Ang Buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng San Miguel Corporation, the global education leader, Southville International School and Colleges, Be Amazing, Be Southville, Mapicon Philippines Inc., Your Total Pest Control Solutions, Rich Restaurant, Royal Indian Curry House, 5345 General Luna Street, Makati Avenue, Makati City, and on Seaside Boulevard, Pasay City. Daijo Gem, Fine Jewelry at Unit 125 S. Mason, Marina Way, Mall of Asia Complex. Buhay o FW, pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Origani we believe in a beautiful and natural skin. We believe in nurturing the harmonious relationship between nature and science to bring you the finest in organic skin care. We believe you should not have to choose between quality and price. So let Origani be your luxury skin care solution because compromising on your skin care should not be an option. Visit us, Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Mula dito sa Dubai, Robert Oswald Alfeller. Buhay OFW, Action TV International, UAE. Buhay Madayaw na pagmugna sa Dabawenos, UAE. Ang matagumpay na paglulunsad ng Dabawenos sa UAE na ginanap sa Dala Factory Bar, Sun and Sun Hotel, Al Riga Road, Dubai, UAE. Nagbigay naman ng pangbungad ng mensahe ang presidente ng Dabawenos, UAE na si Jasmine Lea Matiga. Panauwing pandangal naman na dumalo na nagbigay ng motibasyon at inspirasyong minsahe ay si Philippine Consul General Paul Raymond Cortez. You are denying yourself of your heritage. Yes. And, it's some, and if when you deny yourself of your heritage, you deny yourself of the real you. You become a fake you. Kasabay ito ng kanilang o-taking ceremony ng mga Dabawenos UAE officers at committees. Kasama sa mga panawing dumalo ay sila First Lady Dr. Yasmin Baladjadia Cortez, Field Club Officers sa pangungunan ni Chairman Engineer Tata Dayot, Vice Chairman Erickson Reyes, at Communication Head na si Tricia Ann Ricardo. Nagbigay din ng video message ang Philippine Presidential Spokesperson na si Ernie Abela. Hindi naman nagpapahuli ang mga talento ng mga Dabawenos UAE members at committees sa pagbibigay ng mga espesyal na intermission number tulad ng pagkanta ni Jeline Bangkona, ang Filipino comedian singer na si Madel Loca, at ang paghataw naman sa dance floor na sila Maui Mauricio at Maricar Cabanban. Ang Dabawenos UAE ay isang non-profit organization na nakarehistro sa Consulate General of the Philippines dito sa Dubai at ang Northern Emirates na may layuning lumika ng isang komunidad ng pamilya at samahan ng mga Dabawenos na sumusuporta at nagbibigay ng isang paraan kung saan ang mga individual na Dabawenos ay maaring magambag sa kapakanan ng organisasyon. Ang mga naturang paraan ay kabilang ang gawin ng mga gawaing makatao sa pamamagitan ng Polo Owa sa pagpapalawak ng ating tulong at pagkakaibigan sa ating kapwa mga OFWs, magsagawa ng mga aktibidad na nagtataguyod ng turismo at kamalayan tungkol sa iba't ibang kultura, tradisyon at kagandahan ng Dabawenos at mga rehiyon nito, at ang buong pusong pagsasuporta sa Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Papasalamat kami. At last June 7, we are already here as the Bavanyos UAE group. I would like to thank Boy 
Hi, may yung utu sa tanan, amo mga kaigsug na diya sa Marawi. Ako si Jofer na kami nagapuyog dari sa Dubai. O kami nakiduyog sa inyong gipambat, ikaroon, you know, na dili lalim ang inyong kaimutang karoon bat. Kami nagaampo na mahuman o masulbad na ang problema sa Marawi. Mula dito sa Dubai, Robert Oswald Alfeller. Buhay OFW, Action TV International, UAE. Buhay OFW! Ang Buhay OFW po ay handang magbigay impormasyon, tulong at serbisyo anumang oras, anumang araw. Ako po ang inyong kapatid na handang maglingkod, Marisa Dalmar, kakampi, kaibigan at kapatid ng mga manggagawang Pilipino sa buong mundo. Ito ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Nakita po muli tayo sa susunod na Sabado. Ito pa rin po ang Buhay OFW. Mula pa rin po sa Kota Kinabalu, Saba, Malaysia. Maraming maraming salamat po. Terima kasih. Buhay OFW Bayan ni kanan Totoo Dapat kong kurihin OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng San Miguel Corporation, Malaya Business Insight. Buhay OFW, pangarap mo'y matutupan sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisi. Ang mga minig 